Hi everybody, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Today we are ready to continue our Pokemon Teal Mask DLC on the land of Kitakami. Let's continue our adventure. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton and use the links down below to follow me on Twitch and join my Discord server as well. So, we are ready to continue. We have to go back to uh, the Mosui? Mosui? Misui Town? Mosui? Misui? Mosui Town. Just to continue with our storyline, take some rest, uh, go for another day. If you didn't know what happened on the last episode, please go and check it out to give more views and more likes to the channel as well. So let's heal our Pokemons so I can show you the team. There you go, that's the team, you can see. Shifter Empoleon, Como, Mamoswine, Ninetales and Vulavi. Wait, I'm not sure about the name of the... Ha, no, it's a Hakomo. Hakamo. And let's go, take some rest here. Continue with our storyline. The candy fruits at the Festival of Masks had such an interesting flavor. Hey, where are my... My colleagues? My fellow students? And they ain't here. Festival time. Alright, let's take some rest. Okay. Good morning, Esso. He has a very confident walk, right, guys? Grand Rising. Carmine wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, you'd better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Alright. I like Carmine. I like her passionate, firing personality. Hey, what? What the hell happened there for a second? Oh, maybe I, we were walking, walking against this? The caretaker showed them really cool masks. Some students' pairs haven't finished the orienting assignment yet. In the meantime, why not do some exploring? Enjoy Kitakami to your heart's content. You're already done with the assignment? Whoa, that was fast. The girl I'm paired with is taking it slow for me. She's making sure I don't overexert myself. See? Carmine, she actually cares about people. Let's move on. Where is the caretaker? Is it at the festival? Not it, he. Alright. Oh, there is a terror rate, 6 star terror rate electric type. I'll go check that later. I was thinking about changing the color of our gloves. I think they blend too much into the outfit, but that's cool sometimes. Oh, and they have two hoot hoots in the, on top of their house. And hoot hoot is like about time. Right, and this is a history, a story that goes very long in time. Hey, Carmine. How you doing, girl? Esso, you took your sweet time. <laughs> we wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix dear Ogre Pony's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it will make Ogre Pawn really happy if we fix up it for if we fix it up first. Yeah, I agree. Bro, but they really need to stop with these choices that lead to the same dialogue. It just makes no sense. Moving on. Especially now that I've heard the real story, I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know. I'm sure Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? Yeah, and she has the scarlet air, Kieran has the, the violet air. Passionate, externally passionate, internally... Uh, her, Carmine, externally passionate, Kieran is internally passionate. 
What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know, he spent the evening in his room without so much of a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something, it happens. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Esso. I guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pools at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen on outsiders setting up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. We'll say you, you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster. And that's nice because we, we spend time with Kiran in the assignment. And now we spend time with Carmine in the other more mystical, feminine, spiritual assignment, right? The Pokemon of the Crystal Pool are strong. You better be careful though. That's what I like. A little bit of uh, Legends Arceus feeling. Which is like... Because mostly in these games you can't go somewhere because the game doesn't allow you. Because you, you need to go somewhere else explore a bit more, right? But in Legends Arceus it's like... You can, that also happens, but mostly you can go anywhere, you just can, can't go over there because the Pokemon are too strong. There are a bunch of alpha Pokemon in there, or something like that, right? Oh wait, where do we go? Oh, we have to go all, all the way around. Oh, shiny Geo, dude! Oh, oh shiny Luxray! Hold on, guys. How is Shiny Luxray? Ooh, I think we're gonna catch catch a Shiny Luxray. I know we, we weren't supposed to be in that zone, perhaps? I will not show you guys. We'll just go there and catch it off camera. And then we move to the main storyline. See you soon. Guys, we just found the Shiny Ape. I'm on our way to the Shiny Luxray. Bro, look, it's so cool. We just found it. It was, it was just right there. Let's go! Let's throw a quick ball at it. It looks awesome, actually. We're just walking around, go to catch our Luxray. And we found the shiny Apom. GG! Thank you very much. Let's go! Let's use it. Ambipom is nice. Shiny Ambipom will look very good. Let's give it a nickname, it's special. Male will be an ambipom, let's call it Rouge, Rug. But that's more, um, that's more feminine name, right? Um, Aka, which means red in Japanese, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and then we change the name. Add to the party. Bro, we just found it, so nice. Volabi will take uh, out right now. Let's take a look at our shiny apom. Uh, change position, you go first. Look at him, go! No, come back. Oh, he defeated the Sentret. Alright, let's continue to the shiny Luxray spot. Let's go! Guys, while we were f uh, farming our shiny Luxray, Aka, our shiny Apom is evolving. Let's see it. Nice! It's still purple, but it's a way nicer shade of purple, right? Nice! Ambipom, the long tail Pokemon. Split into two, the tails are so adept at handling and doing things that Ambipom rarely loses its hands. Nice. There you go. Let's continue, we're already here. Farming the um, Lux race already past 30. I'm gonna be ready. Let's go. Here we are, everybody. We got our shiny Lux Ray. Like we said we would. It's beautiful. It took a while to catch. Uh, I did the, the. I killed 60 Pokemon. I did the picnic re picnic reset method, and I also used the, um, a sandwich level three shiny sparkle. Electric encounter power, you know what I'm saying? Those uh, and so those sandwiches, and we got it. So let's now go to the pool on the top of the mountain. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not through Kitakami Hall, right? It's through, ah, it's through here, Wistful Field, right? And then there is that area over there, and then we climb. Let's go. And hold on, guys, I just remember that our team got too strong. 
if you notice, we don't have Memo Swine. We got everybody, like, close to level 70 because we were killing a lot of Pokemon. So, we're gonna take Dasha away. Akomo will be here. And... Uh, Let's bring Sand Slash in. We'll also cut a Terra Grass Vico Wolf, who's already level 74. Vulabi can come back. And let's keep like these. We have. Yeah, Nine Kills is very close to 70. I don't want to have a, two, a team that is too strong. Oh, let's use the Lombre. But wait, we need a um, Leaf Stone or Water Stone to evolve it. We could use a Munchlax. Let's use your Munchlax. Okay, I just I, don't, I just don't want a very uh, a team that is like too strong. We could bring back Rebombi, but I think we would now. We, de we never used Akka. Let's use Akka for a while. Too. Yep, Aundower. Yeah, do we have an Aundower? We do. I oh, don't have the evolution. That's true. That's a bunch of Aundowers. Actually, I really like when you see a, a pack of certain Pokemon because certain Pokemon and certain animals do. Uh, leaving packs. Oh, crap. No trainers. No new Pokemon so far. We already caught a Geodude back some episodes ago. Oh, so cool! You can see the grass moving with the wind down there on the Whistle Fields. A Vulpix. Actually, I've noticed a lot of fire type Pokemon that like to live in the mountains. Vulpix, Luxio. Geodude, Bronzor. Well, I think they have Bronzor already. Yeah. Already have Bronzor. Soda Pop. I think I already caught a Chingling. We do. They look great. That texture looks really, really good. Yeah. Terra Normal. Oh, wait. We have now different pathings. Because we came from down there. Oh, it's an Aundower, chilling. Looks nice. Oh, Terra Normal. I, I mean, you lose weakness to ice, but... And you can be hit by ghosts. Not that really important. Bro, it looks so good, man. Shiny Luxray is awesome. What the hell? So, I think we can just continue our path over here. Perhaps this will lead us to a dead end. I don't know. I have not been here before. I want to catch that item, bro. I think... Yeah, we don't have an uh, an Aundum. Which is not... Okay, I don't want to catch, catch it now. Geodude. Undower. It's a lot of Undowers. Yeah, there we go. Dead end. Could probably just scale up. But... Let's go along the path. We might find a couple of surprises. I'm surprised we have no trainers, though. Right, no trainers over here. So wait, we have to go all the way... No, we have to climb! Wait... But there... It's supposed to be a path! I'm t You're talking to me, kid? You know what happens if you come at me like this, don't you? And why this land has a lot of delinquents? I mean, then you have... You have delinquents, ruffians, you have like Carmine... Which is very passionate too... Coughing! Coughing is back! In the DLC, right? Coughing level 60? Okay. Oh, you have great moves. Need to change, I forgot about that. Oh, no damage. Wait, ain't, ain't you going down by using momentum? Yeah, memento, I mean. Slugma? Do we have a ground type attack on our sand slash? No. Oh, we, we do, we do. Sandstorm is rock type. I know it makes sense, it makes sense. Because, you know, if you ground, you don't take damage from your, from sandstorm. But rock types, and only rock types, receive a special defense buff on the sandstorm. Because it's harder to see them. Let's go. Earthquake. Sand slash looks very good too, man. But I prefer a lowland sand slash. I really like both sand slashes. But I prefer a lowland sand slash. But I really like this one too. Yeah, so this land has a lot of delinquents, a lot of ruffians. You were supposed to battle like that, right? That's how it works? But they don't know about battling. Mm, interesting. Let's change the moves of our Xurs over here. Oops. 
at least a no thunder fan oh man kind of bad move pool so how the hell we get here i think we just have to climb oh no it's through on his maw is it it is so it's not through here the side i mean we can probably do it we get okay i ain't going back so we scale because there was like a lake and whatnot i think we just scale over here and we can get on track but it's so cool to explore the mountain there you go the lake so the lake is on the mountain oh they are the ogres the ogre clan they have pokemon at level 70 something we probably could win right but i want to win with the team Surskit? What do you have Surskit? Okay. Oh, Lotad! We don't have Lotads. Let's catch Lotad. I want to win with the team that we chose. Right, I could pick level 100s. I could pick level 70-somethings and win. But that would not be fun. Okay, we caught the Lotad. Lotad, the water weed Pokemon. Lotad will gather in lakes that have good water quality. The surface of these lakes sometimes become covered in Lotad leaves. What? Somebody's fishing that Magikarp? No, the Magikarp is just outside of water. Bro, what the hell? That's funny though. So from the lake, we can move to that path and then go in. And we write this very nice part though. Little patch of grass, with a lot of bronze ores. Oh, and the Terracomo, oh, Hakomo. Get out of my way. So this is not the way. Oh, I, we can, we can actually go, oh, we can actually just th go through the river, but I would like to go through the official way, right, which would be on his mo through the on his mo, and then, no, because I think then on his mo ends there, <laughs> we can just jump, go to the river, we can just climb, basically, right, but let's see, if we what is this part, by the way? Paradise Bear, Kitakami Wilds, we were never here before. Oh, Primeape, chilling. Hey, bro. We don't have a Primeape? Really? I thought we do, we did. Okay, we're going through the alternative way, which is our way. I really like to explore these little pockets. Oh, and indeed these here. Chilling. A male indeed. Do we have a male indeed? I don't know if we have a male one. Oh, if we need one, it's here. Little cave. Ah, with the jungle moors. Nice. It's, the, it's, it's where they live. They chilling. They living. And now we just go here. To this. Oh, maybe we can climb this. The waterfall. But we can climb the, the wall. So. Easy peasy. Okay. Manky. Qu oh, a quagsire. Let's catch it. A quagsire. Quagsire in the bag. Quagsire, the water fish Pokemon. Due to his relaxed and carefree attitude, it often bumps his head on riverbed boulders and boat holes as it swims. We're completing it. We're completing the oh, there is a... Oh, it's, yeah, we just arrived. If we climb through here. And there is a Geodude, um... 
The Geodude. Do the... How do you call it? Outbreak. Oh, Oni Mountain. Okay. Bro, I love this little part. These little parts of the mountain. So I call the naturalization of the game. It's been getting way better. Oh, mouse of... Oh, there is any Geodude shiny already? Oh, so here we are. Oh, Slugmas! I actually don't even know how shiny Geodude looks. Wait, we are not on the right place. Let's catch this Slugma over here. A bunch of low tads, they look so funny, bro. Level 68 Slugma. It looks good. I, I like Like, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks nice. I like it. Let's go. Slugma in the bag. Slugma, the lava Pokemon. It is said that in ancient times, when volcanoes were more active, there were many more Slugma than there are now. Makes sense. It actually makes sense. So now, can we go through here? Into the place that... No, we can't. Earth... Oh, we find Earth power, but... Wait, can no, but it's there. I think it's over there. Okay, let's go through the official way. Not through this random ass way that we just found up the mountain, up the hill. Because now we have to go... Oh, actually, we, we should be close. We just need to go there. Right. But let me just see how uh, Shiny Geodude looks. To see if it's worth it. Shiny Geodude. I mean, it's very cool. It's yellow as well. Uh, but I don't... I, I spent some time catching the Luxray, right? I don't want to spend more time catching the Geodude. Uh, we, could, we could always then, like, tomorrow um, make the clock backwards and find the Geodude outbreak once again. Because it's really nice. It's all yellow. So... I guess we go through Oni's mountain then? Oni's mall, I mean. So we have to go... Oh, wait. We can climb there. Oh, no. We have to go through Kitakami Hall? Wait, what? All right, let's fly out of here. Yeah, Shiny, jo uh, shiny Geodude is nice. Oh, but Shiny Golem sucks. Shiny Golem barely looks like it is shiny. I mean, you can tell it's different, yes, but it's not like, it's, it's not like super, super different. Alright guys, I'm just checking the, the previous videos that we have, of us walking around here. So, let's try and climb over here, right, I think we can, oh no, we have to like literally climb. So we can just fly, actually, we can just fly to here. And then we go through Ornismo, see if there is a passage, a pathway. I love these triangles, I love, I love these structures, they're all very nice. Oni Mountain, then we go into Oni's Mall. I've been here before a long time ago, a lot of episodes ago. We are back. Oni's Mall, Oni's Mountain. I remember being here completely. And yeah, I think then off camera, like maybe tomorrow, I'll catch the Chinese Geodude. It looks very, very nice. Because I remember. Oh no, you know what? No, no, I was remembering wrong. Because then we turn, we turn, we make a turn right and we go up into the ogre's lair but i think we can just continue our path oh clefairy do we have a clefairy we don't have a clefairy 
Nice! Nice, Clefairy, Clefairy! So, another Pokémon with Friend Garden. Just like Tender Mouse and Mouse Hold, they have Friend Guard, they're very good for competitive. Because Clefairy with Eviolite was so good on a Dynamax format, I think outside of a Dynamax format that would be awesome too. Clefairy, the fairy Pokémon. On nights with a full moon, they gather together and dance. The surrounding area is enveloped in an abnormal magnetic field. Bro, see, we have every living thing as a magnetic field. And when many magnetic fields come together, they create a stronger magnetic field, right? We have some rewards to collect. Oh, I think that's... No, 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 no. That's the way. You can see the difference, right? All right. Everybody, it will be everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. On the next episode, we'll go into the crystal pool. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Till the next time, this is Terry Cloud Surfer, surfing out. See you soon.